Some analysts are calling for the structures to be thrown out, suggesting that applying a band-aid to the problem won't resolve the issue. It does appear that many companies only apply the tax rules and haven't considered the reputational risk. Cor Kramwinkel, Associate Director in Corporate and International Tax at PwC, explains why. Morality, ethics, desire, wish of the population um, needs to come into play when the policymakers decide what rules do I need to draft in order for me to achieve that objective. The company is only there to apply the rules that they have given and not to make decisions on what may be fair in the eyes of some and unfair in the eyes of others. Carl Herika, head of corporate tax at MTN in South Africa, says that businesses will enter countries where they have certainty from a legal, commercial and tax perspective. These companies will also generally serve their key stakeholder interests in terms of providing shareholder value. It's no secret that a company exists to, exist to create shareholder value and shareholder wealth, right? And ultimately, tax plays an important part there, right? And if you can legally right, minimise your tax, right, there should be no problem with that whatsoever. Tax practitioners will tell you that they work within the rules and the laws of the land that their businesses operate in. Increasingly, though, it appears that they are becoming more aware of the softer, more emotive issues that don't really have a place in tax considerations. It's a difficult balancing act uh, that uh, any tax director in, in an organisation needs to be aware of. Um, yes, uh, we, we can only operate in terms of what the law is before us, and that's what we need to do. Um, but at the same time, you need to have this broad awareness on the impact for the reputation of the business as a whole, and what that might do to the to the value of the brand. So it needs to be taken into consideration and very often that, that boils down to making sure that the commercial drivers for whatever has been done from a tax perspective and that the necessary substance to those arrangements is given effect to. The unwelcome light of public attention on several American multinationals and their tax strategies will serve as a warning to their CEO compatriots around the world. It's also an opportunity for regional economic groupings in Africa to take best practices in tax and build African solutions that meet their revenue demands. While tax planning might be a boring topic for some of us, corporate CEOs are going to start paying more attention because their stakeholders are going to start applying more pressure and make them more accountable from an ethical and moral perspective. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Johannesburg.